Good morning guys. How are we? It's a new week. I am making a tea. Oh my god. Okay, so I got these little M&S corgis for the Queen's Jubilee. These are the only things like not sold out with these little chocolate corgis and I feel like they're collectibles and I just shouldn't eat them and I should keep them because like M&S Queen Corgis! I just don't want to eat them. They also had like Colin the Caterpillar cakes, but the M&S version, like the Queen's Jubilee version. I really wanted them, I wanted them so badly, but they were sold out everywhere. I literally couldn't find them. This week is the last week of my 20s. What is happening to me? Help! So best of luck with my endeavors on this the last week of my 20s. God, this feels so weird. Like, you know when you're younger and you wish you were older and I'd, I'd always lie about my age and pretend that I was older than I was? It's such a weird feeling to be on the other end of that now and be like, wait, what do you mean? I don't want to be 30. On the plus side, I posted a picture on Instagram yesterday and all the comments were like, 30 is the best decade. I'm hoping you guys are right because I, I don't know what it is about the number 30. It just feels so big. Like. It feels like the number you freak out about your life. So, am I doing anything that interesting this week? The last week of my 20s? It's, oh, I know it's not good for you to eat lemon and everyone always tells me off, but I love lemon so much. Is anyone getting shudders watching me eat it? We got a parcel. My little Farfetch delivery. I told you, I'm shopping on Farfetch all the time. Oh, I see, I see, I see. This is a dress. I have a friend's wedding in mid-July in the south of France and I'm really struggling with what to wear. So I've ordered a few different things and returned them. But this actually, if I altered it, I mean it looks quite big, but if I altered it, it could be good. And I also got some birthday shoes. I'm toying up two different pairs of shoes. I got both of them on Farfetch actually. I think my Farfetch code is still live by the way. It's Amelia FF and it gets you 10% off. I think it's new and existing customers. You don't have to be a new customer to shop. Okay, I went a bit ham. <laughs> What do we think? Are these, are these stupid or are they fun? I know they're a bit silly, but like they're also fun, right? Look at the heel. Come on. That is like, I'm dirty, bloody and thriving, you know? Woohoo! Let me just also show you the other heel while we're here. So this is the other heel. It's a little Renee. I love Renee's so much. You guys know they're like my favorite shoes. Literally, I just love them. Farfetch has a really good selection. I tried to read the aroma and the ones I wanted sold out really fast. Now, these on Farfetch were yellow, but now they're kind of like gold in real life, I think. No, they were gold and they're yellow in real life. No. Oh, my brain. I ordered yellow and they look a bit gold. Actually, on camera they do look yellow still. I haven't bought one of these pairs of shoes for three years and they've changed them. They are really, used to be really tight around your like middle of your foot, but they've made the strap I can see rounded and I wonder if that's for comfort levels. Anyway, what do you think? Is this a yellow vibe or is it a green? I think by the time you're watching this, my birthday will have just happened. My birthday party, I'm having, a, I'm having a wee little party. So you've probably already seen that on Instagram. So I wonder what shoe you will be commenting. I don't know if it's gonna be the shoe that I wore. Big decisions, you know? I feel like Carrie Bradshaw would be really happy of my kitchen usage right now. I had Chinese food for dinner yesterday. And whilst it was amazing, it really messes with my symptoms and my system. I am super, super puffy today. You'll have to excuse me. I always look at my nose and if it's like, then it's because I ate something that was not good for me. That thing was uh, Chinese food. I went to my favorite Chinese last night. I rarely go for Chinese food because really does not agree with me. But it was so good. I'm gonna try these Sarah Chapman eye masks because I'm shooting today and I just wanna look a bit depuffed. I'm also gonna try and give myself a little facial massage. So let's give this a go. These are really weird, I'll be honest. This is my last one of these and I don't think I would buy them again because they're like, like they're just a bit of a faff, you know what I'm saying? Like what, can I just not just have a normal eye mask please? Okay. <laughs> 
like drowning in eye jelly. I am literally drowning in eye jelly, okay. I'm gonna give myself a little facial massage while we do that using my favorite Declior facial oil. This is great to wake up the face and I've been using it for over a year now, I think. Yeah, like a year and a half. So I'm literally gonna put it on my face and down my neck. And then I take this tool because I'm a very lazy person that I got from a really cool website. Oh, and I just, oh yeah, in the jaw, oh yeah. Oh my God, it actually hurts, but like in a good way. And let's just flush this out of me. Get on the de-puffing train. Mm. Mm. I actually just ordered an ice roller on Amazon. I saw it on TikTok. <laughs> really want it. Okay, I actually think I look more deep puffed already. Do you agree? Like, I actually feel like my nose is less puffy, or am I just praying? <laughs> am I just seeing things that I want to see? But I do feel like my face is less puffy already. I am going to tone my face. I've really been liking this toner, actually. This is the Clay de Peau Lotion, and, oh, that feels lovely. Mm. I'm using this really random brand skin elixir at the moment. This is Dr. Med Christine Shamek. Shamek. Has anyone used this brand before? My hairdresser was telling me about it and I literally ordered it the next day. Beauty fluid for very dry, damaging skin. It gives you a really gorgeous glow and I've really been enjoying it actually. It's super, super dewy. So if you don't like the dewy look, you won't like this, but if anyone's tried anything else from this brand, please let me know because I've never tried anything from them before. Ah, oh, that feels lovely. Then I'm using my little fave summer eye cream. This is the Nordic Sea Lumine Eye Cream. If you have not tried this, you need to. I will link it down below. Super, super light. I have a bit left over. I'm literally going to put it down my neck because like, why not, you know? I worked on a sponsorship with Coley in like... <laughs> January, maybe? And I'm almost out of this moisturizer. I fell in love with it and I haven't fallen out of love with it. I'm totally, totally obsessed. It's super, super luxurious and really moisturizing, but light on the skin. This is the Premier Crew moisturizer. Do you get ready and then do your makeup? I get do my makeup, put on all my jewelry, and then I get ready. It's really kind of the wrong way around. I'm putting on our marigold hoops, which are coming soon. These have a little pink stone on them, and they are the perfect, perfect summer hoop. They are coming, ooh, they're coming this month. Oh, June, yay, they're coming this month. There is a little summer palette launch, rainy launch coming. That is all I will tell you for now. I'm also gonna put on a little ear cuff. Necklaces I'm wearing, my monitor. Villa de Nexus. My discount code with them is still live. It's Amelia20. I haven't taken them off since I got them. I just feel like this is such a great little summer combo. So the big news of the day is that my dressing room is being built, which means that everything in the house is really higgledy-piggledy. My shoes are all in my bathroom. <laughs> And I have bags and bags of Depop clothes here. Other bits and pieces are all over the place, basically. And I have like random suitcases here. These have all been emptied. Everything has been a bit higgledy-piggledy. Not gonna lie, like stuff is everywhere. But I have to mention the incredible McGarry Interiors team because they have absolutely smashed through putting in my dressing room. I've put in tiny clips on my Instagram and I cannot wait to show you the finished thing because it's looking so good. We have tomorrow and Wednesday, they're coming back. Thursday, the incredible Organized by Charlotte is coming because this is my life right now, which is not a vibe, but let me tell you. We've got that going down. So excuse the mess was the backstory of that. I feel like I'm doing a lot of excuse, excuse, excuse my puffy face, excuse the mess. Why do we apologize for everything all the time? <laughs> such a British thing. Like, so sorry. So sorry. So, so sorry about that. But, um, I hope, I hope you'll bear with me whilst this higgledy-piggledy thing becomes life. I was actually speaking to Josie the other day and she said her dressing room took six weeks to install. And I was like, not only did the McGarry team work throughout the whole bank holiday, like long weekend we had here in the UK, but also they're going to be done, I think in a week, like a week, a week worth of working days basically which is just unheard of 
So I'm gonna do my makeup for the day. We can do it together because I feel like I've got a lot of questions about my makeup recently. I have been switching things up. So for my makeup today, I am so loyal to two base products. And since I left my makeup bag in Santorini, when I was in Santorini in London, I now have a newfound love for my makeup. I mean, not that I didn't before, but I really, really have a newfound love for my makeup. This is the best product of all time. There is literally no product like this ever by Terry CC Serum, for those of you that don't know. And the other thing that I do not go a day without is my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. So I just mix the two of those onto my face. Bada bing, bada boom. This concealer really needs to help me today. This is the Clay de Peau concealer. I use so much of it actually not normal but i have the old one and this is the new one is this the right color if you have time for it which i often don't is the beauty blender like this thing i'm gonna link all these products i'm talking about by down below and this is all like stuff that i use on a daily basis my beauty blender when i can be bothered <laughs> just makes everything look so seamless like doesn't it just make this look like my skin i know my eyes look a bit <laughs> Guys, it's the most gray day and I'm actually really sad about it. Like, I just love the sun and they're doing my patio at the moment and I wanna be able to use it. So can you please, there is literally not an inch of sun outside. Can you see how gray it is behind me? Oh, mmm, skin. What I thought I would do today is do a little trial for my birthday party makeup because I haven't got a makeup artist. I just kind of feel like doing it myself and like a bit more chilled vibes. I thought I'd just give it a go and if it's crap and I don't like it, then we can book someone for Friday. So I thought I would do like a brown smoky eye, maybe a bit on the matte side of things. Let's, let's just see how this goes. So I'm using the same kind of thing that I used for the can red carpet, but in brown. This is Chocolate Veil from Charlotte Tilbury. These are her eyes to mesmerize, but the matte version. I used the matte black one when I did my can red carpet look. I think the key to something like this is having a lot of brushes. You want like one brush to pack, then multiple, multiple different blending brushes. I would say maybe have like two or three blending. Eyes are done. They look a bit weird with no blush or anything on, but what do we think so far? I feel like they're a vibe. I've kind of done like a bit of a cat eye and I haven't done barely any shimmer, which is quite unlike me. Makeup is done. What do we think? Is it worth me getting a makeup artist or do you think it's fine? I kind of feel like it's fine. Like I'm kind of not that really, I don't know. I feel like it's good, it's good, it's good. Right? Is it good? I don't know. I'm freaking out this week. I'm gonna be 30. I'm having a mental breakdown. Do we think it's fine? <laughs> oh my god, I'm actually losing my mind. You know what? Like, everyone's gonna be so drunk. Are they even gonna care? No. I don't wanna be 30. This time next week, I'm gonna be 30. I feel like Monica and friends where she just gets drunk and make an absolute fool of herself because she just doesn't wanna be 30. Hey, you got the dog! <laughs> hey, are you drunk? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa. You're probably watching this like Amelia. <laughs> what has happened to you? See the day now. Seize the day. He has just come over and I just want to show her the progress in the shroom. So. Okay. Now, bear in mind what you know about the panels. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow! <gasps> oh my god! Aren't they so fast? Holy shit! I know! This is like... What do you think? Wow. Wow. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god, how are you going to reach the top? <laughs> well, you need a little can you stool. Reach? Yeah, I think I will I have my little reach stool. That. And I'm like, maybe yeah. one. What's I'm not going to put anything that I need up there, basically. So amazing. I don't want to show you guys that done. Wow. Everything has a place. I know. This is incredible. This is really cool as Isn't well. that really good? Yeah. That bit, I love it. Oh my it. God, with the background. I know. It looks so good. 
This is, I'm yeah. so happy with it. Yeah, this is really This cool. is having doors put in tomorrow, and they're putting in the fabric tomorrow. The fabric's arriving today, and... Where are the drawers? Like, where are drawers? Like, there? There's drawers, and those four drawers. This is so cool! It is really cool, isn't it? Yeah, this is I'm, I can't believe it. The room almost feels bigger. I like the cut. Yeah, definitely. I like the colour as well. Yeah, Dimity is a really good colour. Yeah, this is amazing. They've like ma amazing. made the space. Like, adapted yeah. the space really yeah. well. Like this bit. Yeah. How many times do we have to stop filming so that I can eat? <laughs> it's not frozen spinach. Is it going to be as nice? Yeah, it will because the frozen blu blueberries make the make it all um, consistency the same. Okay, good. How do you know everything? Actually, you know what? You could just tell me and I'd be like, yeah, right. Yeah, right, sure. <laughs> okay, so this is my smoothie that I do. I kind of eyeball it and I have put what I actually put in here on my TikTok. We are obsessed with TikTok. <laughs> it's not normal. I, get all, I feel like I watch the whole platy jubes just from TikTok. Platy Jubes. Isn't that the best name for it? I thought it was really funny. People hated the name oh that I was with God. on the weekend. They were like, oh God, I can't stand the name. Platy Jubes. Yeah. I have two proteins to put in today. I got a new one. I got a rice protein and a pea protein. Guys, can I just say, I was looking at all these different protein powders. What pea is making a face at me? Do you think I should do the rice? I just don't like the sound of either, actually. What? Pro the powders make smoothies horrible to me. No, they don't, they don't taste, it's unflavoured. It no, it's, like it's it's like, it's the consistency. It tastes, you honestly couldn't even tell it's there. It's like powdery. I've made you this before and you've had it and you <laughs> didn't know that there was protein powder in it. Meanwhile, your muscles are like, mm, thank you, Mia. Also, if I did have to pick, I would pick the other one, yes. Would you? Right. Yeah. It probably tastes nicer. Yeah. But this is like one ingredient. This is just pea protein. I hate the ones that have like mountains and mountains of other crap in there that you just don't need. <laughs> So I did a biohacking challenge. And in the challenge, they recommended having a shot of apple cider vinegar before you eat, which I just did. I only do that at home because like, how do you do that in a restaurant? And I eat out so much. It's so disgusting. I don't know how anyone eats apple cider vinegar. I love it. What? <laughs> you can have a shot of apple cider vinegar. Oh, Easily. I just got goosebumps. Really? I could drink like a glass of it. Please. What? Yeah. I'm going to challenge you to that. You're going to have a glass. Okay. I'm going to drink my nice smoothie. <laughs> Oh, look how stunning! That's that stunning does look pretty. Kind of, kind of pretty. Oh, I forgot to show you what I ordered from Mrs. Alice. You're actually going to die. I have an obsession, an addiction, and an illness. I ordered cutlery. Bamboo cutlery. Okay, now, Pia, what would you like your shop of apple cider? <laughs> it's disgusting! It's, How do you do it's that? It's so fine. Oh, I actually could gag. I actually did just gag. That smells so good. What? Honestly. Do you think I'm like allergic to it? My body just hates it. No, so many people hate it. I live for sour things, so honestly, you won't even see me wince if you what? give me that. You can happily give it to me and I'll show you. Like, you know me, I can eat a lemon. My friend got me D and L for Duke and Leo. And I opened it and I thought it was something, loves something inappropriate. You can fill in the gaps. Right. You dirty mind. Yeah. I was like, D and L D. Oh no. That's like a double shot. Mm. That's more like a triple. Okay, I'll do it all. Is it really? Oh, I have loads then. Yeah, you have loads. Oh, is that too much? Yeah. Oh, that's okay, never mind. You have to drink that. What? That's How much do you have? That That's like there. Yeah. You should be having like there. Yeah, but I mixed it with water. Oh yeah, with water. Yeah. I mean, that's fine then. Oh, okay. right, yeah. Okay. I mixed it with water. Oh, how the hell did you do that? That's not even that acidic, that one. Oh God, you're a weird person. That's quite nice. Mm. I cannot believe that you think that's nice. <laughs> ew, ew. Is that clean? Yeah, that's clean. Mm. Yeah. I was just getting oh ready to God, leave. Who sent you the flowers? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm ready, but the most incredible bouquet of flowers just arrived. They're literally bigger than Pia's face. 
<laughs> oh my god, they're huge. Oh my god, they're enormous. Who are they from? These are all so perfect. Oh my gosh. Outfit of the day. Now that filming's done, I can show you what I'm wearing, which is this little two piece set that I actually got from. Where did I get it from? I got it from like an Instagram vintage shop. I'll remember their name and I'll put it on the screen. And I'm obsessed with it. I mean, I do need to alter the sleeves and I'm running a bit late. Sorry about all the towels in my bath, by the way. You can see it's like time for Amelia to clean day. But anyway, I'm wearing this little top underneath, which I got from Farfetch, which is the best, best, best tank. I actually ordered another one and then it canceled like five seconds later because it was sold out. So sometimes I love sharing things with you guys and other times I'm like, damn it. <laughs> Everything always sells out, so I have to make sure that it's I've got like, got my backups or whatever else I need. But anyway, I will take off this um, jacket so you can see the top. It's literally the best, best, best tank. It's from 12 Stories, and you can get 10% off with the code Amelia F. F. This is the little two piece. I wanted the blue, but um, that sold out really quickly because they're all like one of a kind pieces. And I'm just wearing it with my Chanel bag and some boots. It is a tiny bit cold, but like we're in mid June, so I'm just gonna dress like it's midsummer because it is midsummer. So if the weather could keep up with the date, that would be great. Perfume of the day is a new one, and I might like it more than love don't be shy i can't decide yet this is angel share from killian it is so good like i love things that smell really sweet but sophisticated and kind of a bit different and all his perfumes smell really different this is actually quite a unisex fragrance i think his fragrances are really enticing they're really enticing and they make me feel almost like a different person. Like I feel sexy when I wear this and I smell it on my clothes. I got this in Cannes last week. And I think my Killian code is still live because I asked them to <laughs> make it longer. It actually expired. I think they've reinstated it now. So it's Amelia X Killian if you want a free Love Don't Be Shy travel size with your order. Which is so cool because that's my best selling perfume and it's my favourite one. Favourite one until maybe... You know what? No. Love Don't Be Shy is my favourite. I'm sorry. I just... I was in a different mood today and I wanted to feel the vibe of the outfit, which is a bit cooler and a bit more masculine. <sighs> glad we got we that cleared up, you know. So let's now go. <laughs> to go and get a nice vegetable plate. I love vegetables. And I'm also going to go to one of my second favorite second hand stores called Sign of the Times because I'm looking for a dress. And they always come through for me, Sign of the Times. Let's see how that goes. This is where Sign of the Times is. A gorgeous little road in Chelsea. I used to live right down that way. I actually didn't come here that often and I've never actually been because it was right on my doorstep at the time to Villa Mama, but apparently it's incredible. And I do really want to go there if anyone's actually been. And I used to live right off this little square. Uh, where is Sign of the Times? Oh, there it is, I see it. Look at this. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at this. More vintage Chanel. This is so pretty. And also this one, I just love that. Like, I think that is just so stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm obsessed with this. I had to try on this dress. Look at it. It's so cool. But sadly, it's like way too big for me. And I think because of the sequence that makes it like really hard to alter. But it's literally incredible. It's so cool. And it has like a bit of a fish tail vibe. Oh, I'm so sad to fit. I had to try on this incredible Chanel blazer. Oh, it's so cute. What do we think? Is it grand or is it cool? Look at the little buttons are like sequin. I love it. Like I think this is really fitted and it's actually a size 40 but I feel like it's meant to be like cropped and cute. I forgot to show you that I actually put on my little Monica Vinader chains i'm obsessed with them i love them so much i literally was just walking out of sign of the times and someone literally chased me down the street for my outfit 
um, which is crazy. That's <laughs> never happened to me before. People chase me down the street with my fragrance, but not my outfit. I actually found another brand on Instagram that do like similar sets like this that are much more affordable. So I'll link them down below as well. Now I'm gonna go meet my friend tomorrow for lunch. I didn't buy anything on Sign of Times, by the way. I wanted to try on this dress, which I might go and sit back after lunch and see if they have it, um, that someone was dropping off and giving just then. The thing I love about Sign of the Times is that you don't know it's necessarily like a a second hand like resale shop they make it like it's an actual shop and you would have no idea and everything is super 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 curated they only accept literally like top quality pieces if something is like stained or damaged or whatever then they don't even accept it to sell it this is literally my dream lunch toast <laughs> finished tofu pan fried tofu spinach and courgettes my friend tomorrow who's in the bathroom is literally having the exact same but like little green food twins good morning i'm going to work out in the park this morning and it is gray but it's really clammy and gross so i'm literally already sweating I'm done with my workout that was actually really hard that's the second time i've trained outside and i love it i think training outside is my new thing this year when it got to september and i was like okay at the end of summer i'm gonna be turning 30 within the next like few months basically within the next year i want to turn 30 and be the strongest i've ever been and that was like my mission so i started with pilates then i started weight training then i started boxing and now i feel i do feel the strongest i've ever been i'm still not strong because i've started off like super super weak i'm just not naturally strong i'm fit but i'm not strong but i now i'm going in mission accomplished i'm going into my 30th birthday the strongest i've ever been so i'm really pleased about that i've like definitely noticed some progress even pia because i'm always asking her <laughs> to carry stuff for me and help me is like yeah you're definitely strong I'm gonna go meet my mum now and I'm forcing her to take me to MS because, well, she's coming with me to MS because there is a 30th birthday present that I am after. <laughs> and she's on the phone. I love hanging out with my mum on the phone. Oh no, she's not! Oh, sorry, that was me being mean. What a nice outfit and all of a sudden it's got so rainy. You look wonderful. Thank you. Okay, the goss is this time. 30 years ago, you had no children. That was terribly sad. <laughs> How life, sad was your life? Life without children. Right. Dad just didn't suffice. It is, it was... is definitely, definitely. No, very... it's not life without children, it's life without me. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Life, life without, without you. you. Was forget that, forget that, Hannah. <laughs> was certainly no roller coaster, <laughs> and it certainly is now. <laughs> Don't you just love the roller coaster that I put you on? Isn't it just so fun? I keep every day interesting for you. You're Very welcome. Very interesting. Yeah. What a roller coaster. Yeah. Act you know, all of a sudden you're like, down, she's engaged. Down, she's not. Down, oh, down, she's happy. Down, she's down, not. She's married. Up she's up not. Down. It was also very <laughs> vanilla, and I spiced up your life. Thank absolutely, goodness for that. Absolutely full of pepper. I have to say. <laughs> Pepper, chili, chili mixed spice, chili, all sorts. Chili. No, I would say only chili. It kind of like just hits you in the stomach. <laughs> wow. May or may not have got a 30th birthday present. No comment. No comment. <laughs> Something may or may not have been purchased for my 30th birthday. I still can't believe it. Every time I say my 30th birthday, I'm like, I'm not 18. How is that? How? How? What is happening? Anyway, crisis averted. I went shopping, so it's all good. It's all good. Don't worry about it. So I will be vlogging my birthday. I'll be vlogging what I did see, war, got, you know, one of those melange of a videos that'll be next Sunday. I will see you over on my Instagram for the party on... Um, Friday and it's also Guy's birthday this weekend we have a shared birthday so his party is on Saturday and um, got some busy busy fun fun weekend plans hopefully I'll, I will stay compass mentis for them and not have a complete mental breakdown that my age starts with a three my mom goes to me just now and we were waiting and I met she goes you know the last three times we've messaged it's been 11 11 and I've screenshotted it. I was like, okay, what, what does that mean? She's like, it's a good omen. And I was like, a good omen for what? 
and she was like 11 11 is when me and you message i was like okay tomorrow i'm gonna i said and then i go to her, and then i go to her. oh well i always see an 11 11 on my phone but that's because i'm always on my phone <laughs> and tomorrow i'm gonna message her at 11 11 and be like hi <laughs> just to freak her out oh, sorry is that really mean? Anyway, I am gonna wrap it up here. That is the last week of my 20s over and out. How is that a sentence? Help, I'm gonna cry. No, focus on the road. And I will see you on Instagram and I will see you next Sunday with another vlog. I hope you have a wonderful week. Sending you a big kiss. Bye guys.